listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there listening, and all of my friends around the world. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the Good Morning Gwinnett Show. I'm your host, Audrey Bell Kearney. I'm so happy to be here with you guys this morning. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 73 degrees, going up to a high of 89. It's going to be hot. Ooh-wee, 89 is hot, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I feel that feels like summer. That feels like summer, and it's going to be beautiful. So I'm not going to complain because, listen, listen, if it could be worse. It could absolutely be worse, but I'm not going to complain one iota because I'm not. So, um, you know, I'm going to enjoy. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Today is Thursday, May the 5th. Cinco de Mayo, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Happy, happy, uh, happy Cinco de Mayo for all of those out there um, who celebrate that holiday. It's a, it's a lot going on today. So a lot of events, though. I got more events than anything. I don't have a lot of news at all, but I got a ton of events for this weekend. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, stick around because I got I got a calendar list of things for you to do. But before I do that, let's get on with this show. Today is National Day of Prayer. Um, let's say a prayer for a lot of people. I want to first say a prayer for um, all the people over in the Ukraine who are still trying to fight for their freedom. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. Uh, I want to pray for the sick and the shut in, those who are sick and shut in right now. I want to pray for those who are going through some things right now and they feel like there's no way out. There is a way out. Trust, just trust and believe there is and, and stay positive. I want to pray for the, the family of the little girl that died in the car yesterday. I just, oh God, that was such a sad, sad story, y'all. Like, um, her dad had to go into the police department in Snellville. Because he was going to retrieve some belongings. I guess he had got arrested some days or weeks or something before. He went to go get his stuff. And he left her in the car sleeping. And and I, I know in his mind, he probably figured my running here and run out. Well, he ran in there and he arrested him. And But what, what was kind of throwing me off is that when you see him on the camera, when they're putting the handcuffs on him, he's so calm. And I'm thinking, okay, why aren't you like having a fit to let them know that your baby's in the car? Like you... I, that part I just could not, I couldn't wrap my head around like how calm he was. It's almost like he was, like he was blacked out. And the baby was, and she was so beautiful, y'all. Oh my God. I can't even imagine what that poor baby mother felt. She was gorgeous. And he left in the car sleeping and she never woke up. Bless her little heart. And then, you know, my prayers go out to her family and just, oh my God. I just, he just looked like something, like he just looked blank. Like it was like he was, he was 20 years old. Like he was just, I don't know. It's just. He just looked blank to me. Like, and I'm, I'm saying to myself, what in the world? Like, cause I would have been having a fit. Like, listen, my baby's in the car, you know? And I'm wondering, did he not say anything because he thought he was going to get in trouble for leaving the baby in the car? Well, you, so what? You already in trouble. You know, that's my thought. I don't know. I wasn't there. I, my heart just goes out to the family. So prayers go out to the family. It's a national day of prayer. Let's just pray. Let's just pray, pray across the world because we need prayer. Like we need everybody to, to join energy and just pray pray for good not for nonsense don't pray because just good here we're gonna pray for one key thing good I, lord i'm praying for good good across this world see we say good that eliminates all the rest of the nonsense that people want to pray about things that makes no sense don't have if we say we want to pray for good let's put good energy out it's also a national day of reason yeah somebody need to be listen you got the reason today national day of reason um, world password day, Lord have mercy. I got about 179 passwords, like for real, like yeah, world password day. I got an email like, um, last week saying one of my accounts had been breached. So I had to go in there and change the password. I have so many passwords because I have so many accounts of different things. So yes, yeah, it's, it's world password day. It's national astronaut day. So if you know an astronaut, show an astronaut some love. National cartoonist day. I wish I was a cartoonist. I want to work on a new a new NFT, but I need a lot of artwork. And boy, when I did the numbers on what it costs to get the artwork done, it's like, oh my God. Like I need about $7,000 just for the artwork. I'm like, oh. So I'm not ready to make that investment just yet, but I wish I was a cartoonist. But anyway, it's National Cartoonist Day. It's National Hoagie Day. Now listen, I know some of you love hoagies. Don't go out there and get you that 12, that 12 inch hoagie and sit there and eat the whole thing in one setting. 
I know. If you're a big dude, though, you might want to do that. That because a half a hoagie just like might just be a snack. National hoagie day. National silence to shame day. Yes, put listen. We need to put shame to rest, not just silence it. We need to put shame to rest. There are so many people out there who want to shame folks about everything. So it's National Silence Day, but I say let's put shame to rest all together. All right, all right. National Totally Chipotle Day. Yes, I don't know what that means. Is it Chipotle chips, Chipotle sauce, Chipotle dressing, uh, a chicken burrito from Chipotle? It's National Chipotle Day. I like, you know, I do like that um, chicken. But so I'm, I'm like weird about peppers. Like I used to wouldn't eat peppers on anything, like nothing. Now we eat it on two things. I eat, I'll eat peppers on two things. Here's the two things I eat peppers on. I eat peppers on broil shrimp, shrimp and pepper. But I don't like red peppers. I, mean, I don't like green peppers. So yellow and orange peppers. I eat it. I eat peppers on broil shrimp, and I will eat peppers on my burrito from Chipotle. Like that's it. Like I can't. I can't eat it on my steak. I can't eat it on my chicken. Um, not the green and red peppers. Yeah, I can't. It's also a Older American Month Day here in Gwinnett County. So Older American Month Day, yes, 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 yes. They're going to be celebrating in Gwinnett County. So if you're an Older American, they're going to celebrate. They got some low cost events coming up this Friday, um, in celebration of that. So this year's theme is Age My Way. Yes, focusing on how adults can age in their communities, live independently, and participate however they choose according to the county's website. So Age My Way is the theme this year. It's going to start tomorrow from 11 to 1 p.m. Hot dogs and horseshoes. I like that. I really like that. Hot, hot dogs and horseshoes. Okay, I'm going to have to bite that county. Hot dogs and horseshoes. I like that. That's going to be at Rose Jordan Park Community Re uh, Recreation. That's 11 of 1. So I'm, I'll talk about this a little bit more on the other side um, when I do my uh, events or what's happening this week because there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. It's things to do, you know, just things to do. Not um, not a, uh, not a lot of news. Like, we don't have a lot of news. I Like, I was looking at one news site that I pulled news from, and they had Gwinnett up there, but they had all the land of news, which is normally the case. Normally the case. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Mike Thousand for the Thursday, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. We're going to kick it up like we always do, and that is with Aries. You may find that your boss is not delighted with your work today. Mm, lately, not just today, lately. Use your creative abilities to come up with new ideas and directions. Focus on your own domestic problems. Listen, don't worry about other folks' stuff. Focus on your own domestic problems. In the meantime, you need to figure out what to, how to fix that work thing so your boss will be, be happy with you again. Or if you're, unha if you're unhappy, which is making your work not be the best, you might want to think about changing careers. You know what I'm saying, Aries? Like, sometimes you got to make that change. You got to step out on faith and make the move, baby. Taurus, your family needs to spend some time with you. Yeah, they, they're missing you, Taurus. Take time to visit someone who has been confined due to illness. Love could develop at social events that are work-related. All right, you looking for love? There's going to be a social event, so it's going to find you. It's going to find you at that event. In the meantime, visit somebody who has been sick um, just to say hello and say hi. You know, um, I, I talked to one of my cousins yesterday. We, we're, like, close in age. Like, we grew up next door to each other, like, literally. Like, you walk out my front door, walk out his front door, that was our house. And, um, he and I have been close since we were like little, like since we were born. Cause we, that's how we lived to get, we lived by each other that, that long. And we talk all the time, but I hadn't talked to him in about a month. And I was like, you know what? Let me reach out to him. Cause one was, I think it was March, March. He was really sick and, um, it was really scary. He was in the ICU, but he's doing a lot better. And I got a chance to just talk to him, you know, and shoot the breeze with him. He's such a good guy. He's in Albany and, um, he just, he's just one of my, my favorite cousins. You know, we talk a lot and, and, and we shoot the breeze and he's always talking positive. He's so positive, y'all. Like, he is the most positive man I know. He and my brother. That my brother, <coughs> my brother's positive too. But my cousin, he always talk about, you know, he talks about God and how God got him. And he, and he say stuff and it just fits together. And I'm like, yeah. And I needed, I needed that talk. My, I called to talk to him to see how he was doing. But by the time I got off the phone, I was like, yeah, I needed that. I didn't even know I needed it until he got finished talking. He's always very spiritual. He always talks about God and how God is the, the head of his life and because of God he is. And he's just a, he's just a, a real inspirational person. But anyway, he was sick and I, you know, we were scared and, but he, God pulled him through. And, and even the people at the hospital was like, how did you get here? Cause he drove himself to the hospital. He drove himself to the hospital and then they put him in ICU. 
and he was he was messed up for about a week in ICU, but he's doing better now. He told me he's about to move to San Antonio. I've never been to San Antonio, so I told him, listen, when you get to San Antonio, I'm coming out there. And he's like, you're very welcome. All right, Gemini, don't blow situations out of proportion or you can find that others will, will misinterpret what really happened. Use your charm, but don't sign or agree to anything. Opportunities for romance may develop through dealing with groups that have a purpose. All right, listen, there goes some more love doing some good stuff. Listen, you got to get out the house, Gemini. You looking for romance? You got to get out the house and do something with groups that mean something, groups that are doing something important, groups with a purpose. Get on out there. In the meantime, don't blow a situation out of proportion, right? Because if you do that, then people can misinterpret what really happened. That's going to cause a problem. And don't sign anything today. Today is not a signing thing. Don't agree to anything. Get out, have some fun. Cancer, your tendency to overreact could get you into trouble. You can make major decisions regarding your professional direction. If you want to make your mark, try to get involved in projects that will bring you some glory. All right, look, listen, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a community uh, day. Look like you got to get involved. Everybody, like so far, everybody I pretty much read about so far is saying get involved, go out, socialize, go out with groups, do something on purpose. So if you want to, you want to make your mark, cancer, you got to get involved in projects that will bring you glory. Yeah, that project that makes you feel good when it, when you do it. That project, not just any project, that project. Leo, emotional disputes will only end in sorrow. Someone you care about may not be too well. Get proper medical attention and confront your situation decisively. All right, you're not, you may not be well and neither is somebody you care about. So listen, here's what you do. You call and check on everybody, see how everybody's doing and then check on yourself. So go to the doctor. I know a lot of you don't like going to the doctor. I get it. I don't either, but you got to go. You know, especially when you know you have bad habits. Like, I know, you know, I eat too much butter, so I go get my cholesterol check, and thank God it's always below normal, which it baffles me, but I ain't complaining, Lord. I am not complaining. Virgo, put something away in case of an emergency. Be very careful while in transit or while driving in foreign countries. Watch for empty promises that may give you false hope. Oh my goodness, watch out for the empty promises. And also be very careful while you're in transit or, or driving in foreign countries. Yeah, we, I was with a I was with a friend yesterday in a meeting, and um, she travels a lot. She's travel. She's rich though, so she can do that. She travels all over the world, and um, I was telling her I want to go to Greece, and I was telling her I want. She's about to go to Nigeria again, and um, I was saying, yeah, I want to go to Greece, and I want to go to um, I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Italy, and I want to go to Africa, and I want to go to Bali. I said, you know, I wouldn't mind going to somewhere like New Zealand. I said, but I just don't know how nice they would be to black folks, and she said they're not that nice. She and she's Indian, so no, she's Pakistani. She's Pakistani, and she's like they're not that nice. She said they don't even treat me nice, and I was like, yeah. So they probably would definitely wouldn't treat me nice. She said they don't, and she's been all over the world with how she can, and she was like, yeah, they don't even treat me nice. And so I'm much darker than she's dark, but I'm way darker than she is. So you know, and there's no question that I'm black when I get over there. Like she looks like she's Middle Eastern, and I'm definitely gonna look black. And she's like, she said the Scandinavians are not very nice. She said they. They don't treat you very nice over there. And I was like, oh, that sucks because there's some beautiful places I see on, you know, and I'm looking at places to travel. And I was like, man, I bet it's beautiful in New Zealand. She's like, yeah, they're not nice. I'm like, wow, that sucks. But see, that's the thing, right? This, that's, I, I, feel, I feel afraid sometimes just moving around Georgia, like outside of the metro for real. Like I'm like, Ooh, where am I at? Because you just don't feel safe, which is so sad that you can't just go places and not feel safe in the world, right? But you just don't. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned. I've been thinking about you. I'm waiting for it all to come true. I'm longing to hear you say.
back. Welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Nodal Astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. You need some rest. Join a choir or a drama club. You may be considering moving to large, a larger quarters. Hold your temper and refrain from doing anything that may cause you injury. Hold your temper. I know you're pissed off about something. Hold on to that because your, your temper is going to cause you, it could cause you to get injured. You don't want to be injured. It's about to be weekend. Ankle hurt, hand hurt, you know, foot broke, finger broke. Any little bit of pain causes you pain. Unless you have a problem where you can't feel pain. Scorpio, a romantic dinner followed by a quiet evening with the one who is enticing you should be the most satisfying. Reevaluate your position and make decisions about your future goals. You may find that you are a little lucky today. All right, go ahead with your lucky self. You're going to have a denter, a dinner. I said a denter. You're going to have a romantic dinner. Yes, with a quiet evening. Yes. And then you're going to be lucky. Now, I don't know what that luck means, Scorpio. Are you going to be lucky in money or lucky in love or lucky in both? You're going to be a little lucky today, though. So good kudos to you, baby. Enjoy your lucky day. Sagittarius, you will find yourself tired, tied to the phone. Oof. This would not be the day to start new business ventures or make drastic changes in your career. You can make life easier for an older member of your family. Okay, listen, I know you want to quit that job and start this new venture. Don't do it today. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know they pissed you off at work already. It's only 10, 19. Don't quit the job today. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I know you're trying to figure out how to make some extra money and you feel like you could just be a business owner. Don't start it today. Not today. Wait until tomorrow. Wait until this weekend, as a matter of fact. In the meantime, you can make life for an older member of your family a little bit easier. So help that person. Now focus on that person. I know you can change later. You can change the career. You can change the business. You can do all that later. Not today. Not today, Sagittarius. Not today. Capricorn, don't expect the whole family to be overjoyed. You can meet friends who will let you know how valuable you are. Travel may may change your attitudes with regard to your philosophy. Philosophy. You're gonna go, you may go somewhere today and you may have thought about, listen, I just told y'all I want to travel to places inside of Georgia that I'm totally afraid because I'm I'm black. So I'm afraid. And so, you know, you may I may need to travel to change my philosophy about some things. You know what I'm saying? You may need to travel today to change your philosophy about some things. Yes, you may. In the meantime, you can meet friends who will let you know how valuable you are. That's cool. It's cool that your friends are going to let you know how valuable you are. And sometimes we need that little extra assurance. But for the most part, Kat, you gotta have to, you're going to have to learn how to love yourself and know how valuable you are. You're going to have to figure out how to find out how to know your self-worth. Because a lot of times we suffer from that. Listen, I've suffered from it. It's, and that, People tell me, oh my God, you're, you're so smart. Yeah, but sometimes I don't feel smart. Sometimes I don't feel beautiful. And that's because I'm human, you know. Then I look in the mirror and I say, good morning, gorgeous. Ah, y'all know that song, Mary J. Blige, baby, Mary J. Blige. Good morning, gorgeous. Yeah, listen to the song. It's a beautiful song. Aquarius, don't confront the situation if you don't feel you can keep your cool. Be sure to find out all you can before you commit to anything. Yeah, every, find out everything you can. Seminars will provide you with knowledge and amusement. Always cool to learn something new. Always cool to learn something new. I'm learning something new all the time. I got some classes I'm going to take this weekend. At least, well, at least Saturday. Well, yeah, the early part of Saturday. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to do on Saturday, though, because I'm excited about this. This is something I want to do, but I want to, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Anyway, um, be sure to find out all you can before you commit to anything. Get all the facts. Get Check out, do your due diligence. Learn about the, whatever it is before you commit. Get your questions answered, get the contract signed, whatever you got to do, get it done before you say yes. I'm just saying, here, Aquarius, don't just go willy-nilly signing off on stuff before you understand what's going on, okay? Okay. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, do the necessary chores and then do things that please you. Yes. Listen, I'm right there already. I'm already there, y'all. I don't know about you fish, but I got up and threw the laundry in the, in the washer this morning, Right? And after I do this show, the rest of the day is going to be whatever pleases me. My husband already didn't text me. He said, listen, this playoff tonight, get some rest. So, you know, I bowl in the league on Thursdays. And we got, uh, I think we got two weeks left. I think this week and next week. 
I think two weeks, maybe three weeks. We got three weeks left, I think, the bowl. So tonight is the playoffs. So he already going to text me, uh, get some rest. The playoffs start tonight. I'm like, oh, okay. So I know I got to get some rest. But I already said that. I already threw the, the clothes in the, in the wash. I'm going to throw them in the dry when I get finished with show. And then I'm, the rest of the day is going to be whatever I want to do. Yes. Also, Fish, be cautious when dealing with your coworkers. Do your own research and be prepared. Watch out for them backstabbers at your job, baby. Be cautious. Yeah, watch them because you know somebody wants your job. Listen, Fish, somebody is watching you and they want your job. So just be careful how you deal with them. You know, deal with them with a long handle spoon. You know, that's one of them old sounds. You got to learn how to deal with folks with a long handle spoon. Yeah, you know, so picture that, right? Close your eyes for a second and, and picture feeding somebody off a long handle spoon. Like, they're all the way on the other side of the room. You got this really long spoon, and you feed them. Like, I'm going to feed you, but I'm going to feed you all the way across the room because I know how to deal with you. I'm going to deal with you with a long handle spoon. So watch your back, fish. Watch your back. You got them coworkers. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Them backstabbers. Backstabbers. I know I be messing up folks' song, but I like That's okay. And do your own research and be prepared. That's what you got to do. Be prepared. Whatever it is you're trying to do, be prepared, okay? Okay. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow to bring you, not tomorrow, today is my Friday. I'll be back on Monday to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology and Micah Thassen. Now let's get on with what's happening around Gwinnett County this weekend. It's a lot. I don't got no real news for y'all. I just, I told y'all the story about the little baby that died in the car. It was so sad. Just so, so sad. Oh my God, that just broke my heart to read it. I'm so, you know, I'm sentimental like that. And I, and that's why I don't read bad news, right? And I, and that story, I bypassed that story at first, right? And then it popped up again on another news feed. And I was like, okay, I got to read it. And when I read it and I saw the video, I'm like, oh, God, what was this kid thinking? He, he wasn't thinking. You could look at his face and tell he was not thinking. I just, if he left that baby in the car and he let them take him to jail and the baby, I just, because it's something, I don't know. I feel like something is missing out of that story because there's no way in the world I would have had just been so calm inside the jail and the baby in the back sleep sleeping. Like, you about to take me to jail, and I know it's like 85. It was 80 degrees yesterday morning. So I'm about to go to jail, and I'm about, I'm about to be really calm, and my baby's in the back seat of the car. Oh, my God, that's just sick. Uh, whew. Anyway, y'all, anyway, anyway. So listen, I told y'all today is Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. It is. I have no idea. Okay, so okay, so Thursday, Cinco de Mayo, they're having um, Mexican, they said having a commemoration of the Mexican Army's victory over French forces during the Battle of the Puebla, 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 in 1862. Um, so that's how Cinco de Mayo got started. Um, contrary to what people may believe, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day, really. That is in September. Oh, so what is Cinco de Mayo then? If it's not Mexican uh, the Independence Day, what is it? Okay, here we go. Um, here are some places that's going to have some stuff going on this weekend for Cinco de Mayo, baby. So that's not. I, I, we always thought it was. We always thought it was. So 6 p.m. today to 11 p.m. Like, listen, St. Lucas, Tex Mex and Catino located at 2115 Loganville Highway in Grayson. Sweet 102, yeah, they it's going down. So that's over in the rail yards, by the way. That's over in the rail yards. So if you know where the rail yard is right there, Grace, and I was over there yesterday. I was over there twice this week, I think. But that's what St. Luke, uh, St. Lucas is, right? Tex Mex and Casino. So they got stuff going on from today all the way through Sunday, from six to eleven p.m. I might go over there. Sheesh, man, we might go over there Friday night. Like we normally have dinner on Friday night, but they got celebrations. They got a DJ. They got special drinks. Oh, it's going down in Grayson then, baby. It's going to be a fiesta. So if you want to hang out from Thursday to Sunday, yeah, it's going down to St. Lucas, Tex-Mex, and Katina over there in Loganville on Loganville Highway, 2115 Loganville Highway, Suite 102. It's right inside where the rail, where the rail yards is. So you know where the, um, what's the, what's the name of the little ice cream parlor over there now? God, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, you know where Walgreens is on the corner of, of New Hope Road, Grayson New Hope Road and, and Grayson Highway? Right across the street is the rail yard. So if you if you go inside of there, St. Lucas is right over there. So they're gonna be it's going down. It's going down. You wanna have some fun? You can have some fun. Yeah. So they got another single de Mayo going on today, 4 p.m. It's gonna be at the Cultivation Brewery located at 650 Langford Drive in Norcross. Cultivation's brewery single de Mayo party. Yeah, come on, come and stay a while. 
Unique Street Eats, um, Ashley Bakes Crack Cakes, um, with what's that? With their festive entrees and streets. All right, and streets, salsa station. All right, listen, you want to have some fun today? It's going down. Cinco de Mayo, they got a whole lot going on. Cinco de Mayo is still fire. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that starts the day from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. That's going to be a still fire brewing. That's located at 343 U.S. Highway 23 and 20. It's going down. Yep, 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 yep. Says, uh, get your sombrero ready and head over to the tap room in Cinco de Mayo where we'll be pouring a blue bandito Mexican lager all day long. Now, hit, now listen, listen here. They're going to be pouring this lager all day long. That does not mean you got to drink all day long. I get it. It's Cinco de Mayo. Do not drink all day long unless you're walking. I'm just saying. They're going to have food and everything. Chewy's Tacos. Yes, it's going down. At, it's still fire. All right, Cinco de Mayo date night. Okay, you want to go out tonight? Tonight, 7.30 to 9.30. Painting with the two. Oh, my God. I would love to do this. Ooh, that's a pretty picture. So, I love painting with the twist. Right? I'm going to miss it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to miss this one. Crap. I got a bowl tonight in the playoff. My husband already said the playoff starts tonight. Anyway, if you want to go to Cinco de Mayo Painting with the Twist, that's this evening. Located at 178 East Krogan Street, Suite 230 in Lawrenceville. Tickets are $39. Can be purchased at PaintingWithTheTwist.com. Um, yeah. I li Listen, I love going to Painting with the Twist. I had my birthday celebration there in February. That's one of my favorite places in, in Lawrenceville to hang out at. But this picture is gorgeous. I would love to paint this picture. Now I'm not going to paint it because we're going to be... She should have did this tomorrow night. That going... But Cinco de Mayo is a day, so she had to do it today. Cinco de Mayo on Thursday, Thursday. Thirsty Thursday at Cool Ray Field. Yes, yes. Tonight, 7 p.m. 7.05 p.m. is going down at Cool Ray Field. Tickets cost between $8 and $30. You can purchase them at milb.com backslash Gwinnett. This will coincide with Gwinnett Striper's um, game against Charlotte Knight. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo with festive food offerings, lively music performances. Yes, go on over to Cool Ray Field, have some fun. Yep, you can do that. All right. All right, so I told y'all, all I got is events today. Like, ain't no real news happening, it's just all party. It's a party weekend, baby. Fridays in Duluth presents Block Party on Main, Friday's Fiesta. Yes, this is going down. All right, so Friday... 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Duluth Town Green, 3142 Hill Street in Duluth. They, it's going down in Duluth Friday. Going down in the Duluth. I want to say it in the DM, but it's going down in Duluth. That's where it's going down at. They got a block party on Main. You come out have a good time. Friday Fiesta. Featured theme foods, vendors, um, mariachi performances, mariachi, mariachi performances, and more. So they, they got Cinco de Mayo. Keep it, they keeping it going all the way up to Friday. Tacos and tequila 5K. Listen, let me tell y'all this now. I right, listen. I'm not a drinker, but I have took I have took a shot of tequila twice. And every and each time I've taken it, it knocked me knocked my head off. So I ain't messing with the tequila. The taco I may do. The tequila, not so much. That's going down this Saturday. Yes, it's going down this Saturday. Um, tacos and tequila, they got a 5K run. Now listen, this is the crazy part. Are you gonna take the tequila before you run or after you run? I'm just saying, I can't imagine you taking a shot and trying to run for a couple of different reasons. One, it's probably hot. Two, um, you just took a shot of tequila and you're trying to run. Yeah, so I don't know about that one. But anyway, it's going down to Swanee. Swanee Town Center, located at 330 Town Center Avenue in Swanee. It's $45. Anyone interested in participating can sign up at uh, running, um, runsignup.com. Yeah, tacos and tequila. A 5K? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that one, y'all. That's a little bit rough. All right, listen, I'm going to go to this song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County this weekend. So if you're looking for stuff to do, I got it for you. I got it. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Orgy Bell Kearney, giving you the rundown about what's going on in and around Gwinnett County this weekend. So if you're looking for stuff to do this weekend, we got a lot going on this weekend. So we got a bunch of Cinco de Mayo festivals going on. There's one going down in Norcross. Yeah, yeah, downtown Norcross. They got the, um, from noon to 5 p.m. on Saturday, Thrasher Park in downtown Norcross said, we are excited to announce our first annual Viva Mexico Festival in historic downtown Norcross on May 7th. Come celebrate everything from beautiful country of Mexico, Mexico, from the authentic cuisines to colorful margaritas. Yes, listen, watch out for the margaritas. Now, don't let them sneak up on you. You hear what I'm saying? Taste buds are in, uh, in for a flavorful experience. Your taste buds, yeah, authentic cooks will be dishing out some amazing meals, tamales, tacos, male, and more. Yeah. Um, tickets are $50. So if you just want to have a ball and just eat all you want to eat and drink all you want to eat, drink. $50. You can check it out. Red, white, and green. Yes, red, white, and green. Saturday, 5 o'clock, George Pierce Park, Buford Highway in Swanee. Bring the family and enjoy Mexican games, crafts, door prizes, music to learn about the rich Mexican heritage. Yes, you can have fun in Swanee. It's all over. Now, let me tell you one I'm excited about because this is what I'm excited about. This is one I'm going to definitely going to on Saturday. I just I just sent my um I just sent my my husband uh, my daughter a uh, 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 text saying hey we should go to this. So this is I'm excited about I'm excited about the where, where is it? What did I do with it? No, what happened to it? Anyway, there's a derby going on the Duluth Derby. That's what I'm excited about. I want to go to the Duluth Derby. So with the Duluth Derby, you're gonna have on like these hats, like these derby hats. And I was like, I want to do the Duluth Derby because I always want to go to the Kentucky Derby. And so I was like, I want to go to the Duluth Derby. And I sent it to my husband and daughter. And so they were like, let's go. But my thing is, we got to get some hats. Like we got to get some big brim looking hats because um, you know when you go to the Kentucky, I've never gone, but I've always wanted to go. And so now, you know, we got to get a hat. So my daughter has hats though. Like she has, she has a bunch of hats. I don't have any hats. But anyway, so the Duluth Derby is taking, the, the, the Duluth Derby is taking place this Saturday from 2.30 to 7.30 at Parson Alley's in Duluth. So you've never been to Parson Alley. It's really cool over there. I've been there a couple of times. It's really cool. There's no admission fee. That's located at 3530 West Lawrenceville Street in Duluth. Outdoor screens, themed food and beverages, free children's activities. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, food booths, local um, exhibitors. They got all kinds of stuff going on. They got crafts and, and all kinds of stuff. And I think that's going to be pretty cool. So that's going to be this Saturday. Um, the Duluth the Derby. You got to wear your hat. Listen, you got to get your derby. Don't get your derby on. Don't come there without your derby. I got to get me a hat. I got a hat, but it looks really, um, it looks really, um, it looks more beachy than derby, if that makes sense. So I, I got to get my derby hat, my derby. And I said to my husband, we got to get some hats. My daughter got a bunch of hats. She probably got a nice, beautiful hat. When I think about derby hats, I don't think about the floppy. I think about the big, giant church hats that you wear in church you ever seen people come to church the hat be so big you can't see the pastor yeah that when i think of derby that's what i think of i know i sound like i sound crazy don't i but that's what i think about i think about that big old hat you sit behind that lady with the big hat on like oh my god why she had to sit in front of me <laughs> because i had it so big you can't see anybody in the pulpit because the hat is covering up your eyesight that's when I think when I think of a derby, that's what I think of. Anyway, that's going down this this Saturday from 2.30 to 7.30. If you want to take place, come out and have some fun. It's free. 30, 3530 West Lawrenceville Street in Duluth. So come on out. Have you some fun, baby. Have some fun. Yep. Um the Wolf of De uh the Wolf of Defiance book event. There's a book event going on this week. Um, if you want to check that out as well, it's gonna be tonight from at 6 30 going to be at the Gwinnett County Public Library in Norcross, the branch of Norcross located at 5735 Bruford Highway in Norcross. So if you want to, you know, come out and meet Arthur Mark Warren in conversation with the Gwinnett Stop uh, featured in the book, um, you can do that. That's going to be, it's called Willful Defiance. Mark Warren documents how black and brown parents, um, students, and low-income communities of color organize to dismantle school to prison pipeline to their local schools and built an intersectional movement that spread across the country. 
that I would see that's tonight and I got a, I got a bowl tonight. Like I love, I would love to have gone to that. Anyway, it's going to be book signing. Um, for the first 10 registered people, they will receive a free copy of the book. Again, that's tonight at six 30. That's going to be the Gwinnett County public library, the Norcross branch located at 5735 Buford highway in Norcross. I might try to get him on the show to talk about that. They're going to have complimentary refreshments a silent auction and all that good stuff. So, and if you wanted the first 10 people to register, you get a free copy, a free signed copy of the book. So that's pretty cool too. So you want to do that? You can, so I told you it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on this weekend. Um, it's just a whole lot going on. Like I, that's all I had. I didn't have anything to, I didn't have anything to do, but talk about events. You know, like that's what's happening this weekend. Downtown Lawrenceville. Um, Lawrenceville is celebrating free comic book Saturday. Yes, yes. That's pretty cool too. If you like comics, go downtown Lawrenceville. Um, the free the mini comic convention added this year. That's nice. So I might do that in the first part of the day before I go over to the Derby on Saturday. Go get me a comic book. Um, it won't be out of the ordinary to see Captain Cap, <laughs> Captain America, Thor, Darth Vader, Wonder Woman, and Superman walking around Lawrenceville Square on Saturday. So this should be really nice. In fact, in fact, it may not be out of the ordinary to see people see them several times with different faces around the square. Because everybody want to be, like I would love to be Wonder Woman. Like my granddaughter was Wonder Woman for um for Halloween. So I might tell my daughter to dress up in her Wonder Woman outfit so she can go to the comic book uh, day. That's because Lawrenceville and, and Galactic Quest will be celebrating free comic book day on Saturday. Visitors will be able to walk around Lawrenceville Square and get copies of the 46 different free comic books and they are encouraged to show up dressed up as their favorite comic book character. I got my own comic book character that I came up with. Pretty darn cool. Anyway, that's going to be this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, free comic book day so you can go downtown. Yep, the website list is running from 9 to 7 but it's really 10 to 4. So it's going to be 10 to 4. So go, it's 10 to 4. If you want to go down there, dress somebody. You want to dress up as your favorite character, go take some pictures with your favorite character. I think I'm going to do that. I have nothing on my schedule for Saturday morning. I think I'm going to get up and go downtown Lawrenceville and take some pictures with the characters and get me a comic book. And I think I'm going to tell my daughter to bring the baby dressed in her uh, Wonder Woman outfit. That would be really nice for her to take a picture with Wonder Woman. I think that's really cute. So anyway, that's going to be this coming Saturday, downtown Lawrenceville on the square. So you want to go out there. That's going to... You're going to be able to see some of your favorite characters. Free comic books include Doctor Who, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Archie, Teenage uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle, Spider-Man, and Venom, Stranger Things, um, The Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra, Donald Duck, The Avengers, X-Men, Pokemon, Sonic the Hedgehog, and The Three Stooges. Yeah, listen, some of y'all didn't know what The Three Stooges, what, what they are. That was a show that I used to watch when I was, let me tell you the shows that I used to watch every morning before I went to school. The Three Stooges and the Little Rascals. I'm somebody gonna be like, what is that? Those were the those were my shows every morning. So these were the shows that I watch: Three Stooges, Little Rascals, and The Adams Family. So I'm really dating myself, and all of them shows was in black and white. So I'm really, really dating myself. But I love watching them, I, and I love Beverly Hillbillies, like The Three Stooges, Beverly Hills Billy, um, Adams Family. And the Little Rascals. Loved them. All in black and white. And and we didn't even know what color people had on. Because the, the shows was in black and white. And I used to watch them every day. Especially, I used to love Granny from the Beverly Hill Billies. The Beverly Hill Billies. Yeah, that was a good show. Um, then when I got a little bit older, I started watching Bewitched. And I Dream of Jeannie. My other favorite shows. I'm really, I'm really dating myself. And Lucy. Oh, God. Everybody know I love Lucy. Ooh, I'm dating myself. Anyway, um, you got a whole list of comic books. So free, go to freecomicbookday.com and you can see the catalog of all the free comic books that's going to be handed out on Saturday. Again, that's downtown Lawrenceville on the square. If you want to attend that, it's, it's from 10 to 4. Um, if you want to dress up like your favorite character, please do. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people down there. Listen, if you see me out there, say hi. Stop by and say hi. Hey, orange girl, I see you. Yeah, let me know who you are. I want to I want to I want to meet you. So, I'm going to definitely be down there. I'm going to get up and go get out and go down there and um and and hang out for a little while before I go to the derby. Then I'm off to the derby after that. Cuz I I really I really 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 want to go to the derby. So, I'll be off to the derby after that. Um oh, so I started out talking about this about the um 
uh, Seniors Day. So sen- the seniors are having their own little party on Saturday. It's so Age My Way. It's focusing on how adults can age in their communities. There's going to be a little event this coming, um, beginning Friday in, in celebration of older uh, Americans. So this coming Friday, tomorrow, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Hot Dogs and Horseshoes. Man, I like that so much. Hot Dogs and Horseshoes, and that's going to be at Rose Jordan Park. And that's located um, over in uh, Lawrenceville as well at the Community De Recreation Center. It's, it's a free event. Then Friday evening from 6 to 8 p.m., it's a Sing My Way at Norcross Senior Center. <coughs> Senior Center. Participants can sing and dance to their favorite tunes. Now remember, remember y'all, this is a this is a senior citizens event. So I don't know what their favorite tunes are. Um, I'm a I'm an '80s baby, so I mean I'm an '80s. I'm, I'm the generation in the '80s. I I grew up in the club. I don't know what they, they might be listening to Bobby Darren or something. So just so you know. Anyway, friends and family are welcome to attend that. It's $6 per person. And then on Sunday from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Oh, now this may be fun. This may be fun for me just to go up and show out, show up there. It says Sunday from, from Sunday from 7 to 9.30 p.m. The dating game at the Liburn Activity Building. That's $6 a person as well. So they got the dating game. That should be funny. I don't know. I might have to show up to that just because. Just, and then I have to come back and write about it on Monday. And activities just keep going. for this. Listen, these seniors are having more fun than me. Monday from 4.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sock hop at the Bethesda Park Senior Center. All right. Now, here's the kind of music you can expect to hear. It's going to be 50s inspired. It's going to be a 50s inspired dinner. That's $11 a person. Then on Wednesday, from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Great Big Garden Game at Pigneyville Community Park Recreation. Play giant games, eat refreshments, and create a mini garden to take home. Oh, that's beautiful. See, I need to go to that 10.30 on Wednesday. That sounds very nice. That's $5 a person. Friday, May the 13th. Yeah, Friday the 13th, y'all. Yes, that's what it is. Lucky Friday the 13th. Let the good time rolls. Prime Timers Point and George Pierce Park. Play Bronco games. That's five dollars a person. Make listen. It's a whole calendar of events. I can't get through this this whole calendar. These listen, the seniors are getting listen, they're having some fun. Go to AJC.com to look to get the whole list of activities for seniors this this whole month. It's the seniors month, so they got a whole lot going on. So that's a lot of fun. All right, my last announcement before I, before I call it a day is the Girls on the Run 5K presented by Assurance. Assurance, yeah, so you want to do Girls 5K Run. That's going to be this Saturday at 9 a.m. Cool Ray Field, 2500 Buford Drive in Lawrenceville. They join Girls on the Run on Saturday um, for an unforgettable morning of excitement, positivity, and celebration. The end of the season 5K event is a time for us to come together as a community and applaud our girls on the lessons they've learned, obstacles they've overcome, and the confidence they've built. Proceeds from the the non-competitive 5K event benefits Girls on the Run Scholarship Fund. So if you want to participate in that, you can go to girlsontherunatlanta.org forward slash 5K. That's this Saturday at 9 a.m. So Girls on the Run. So listen, go over there to Girls on the Run. Do your 5K, then run on over at 10 o'clock over to um, uh, uh, downtown Lawrenceville for the comic book giveaway. Then leave there and meet me in Duluth for the Derby. That's a full day of events, right? Yes, a whole full day of events. I told y'all, it's a lot going on around Gwinnett, and I'm, I miss some stuff because it's too much. It's too much. You got booze and ta- you got tattoo booze and art and shoes. That's at, that's that's Saturday. I mean, that's tomorrow. It's a lot going on. So, um, if you're bored this weekend, shame on you. Cause it's a whole lot going on. And, and for, I forgot to say this it's mother's day. It's mo- I forgot all about mother's day. So mother's day is Sunday. They're having a the mother's day tea and pop up, right? I forgot that. Um, say GFCW, G GFWC Georgia invites you to enjoy a mother's day tea at the historic winders women's club located at 15 W West Milton. West Midland Avenue in Winder, Georgia. That's this Saturday at 11 o'clock to 1. All ages are welcome. Tickets are $25 to uh, to include tea, a scrumptious meal, flower pan for mom, and crafts for younger attendees, as well as opportunities to shop for my mom. Shop for mom. So, yes, look, I forgot all about Mother's Day. How could I forget about Mother's Day? So, anyway, if you want to participate in that event, Winder, Winder's Women's, Women's Club, 15 Midland Avenue in Winder, Georgia. That's this Saturday at 11 o'clock. See, a whole lot going on. Whole lot, whole lot. 
So that's also something that you can do. So you can go to www.gfwcgeorgia.org. gfwcgeorgia.org. And um, you can find out more about that event and celebrate, you know, with your with the with the with mothers um come sunday all right come saturday but for sunday all right i'm going to my last song then i'm going to come back and i told y'all i got nothing but events that's all i got this week that's it um that's all i got today all right i'm going to my last song i'll be back to give you my word of inspiration so stay tuned That's it for me today. Today is my, listen, today is my, it's Thursday, but it's my Friday. And it's only my Friday because I'm not broadcasting tomorrow, but I'm, I'm not off. 
not by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm all from you guys. But before I go, I always love to give you my word of inspiration for the day. And so here goes. And this is, this is for Mother's Day because Sunday is Mother's Day. It says, I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me all my life. Yeah, that makes me, that, that makes me emotional because y'all know I lost my mom last year. And so it's that time of the year and you know, um, yeah, that was a quote by Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to read it one more time. I remember my mom, my mother's prayers and they have always followed me and they have clung to me all my life. Yeah. Remember that your mother loves you. Your mother loves you and you should love your mother. My mother was one of, my mother was my best friend. And, um, when this mother day approached, I, I didn't even think about it to now. Um, I'm gonna stay strong because she know that's what I would want, want to do. And that's what she would want for me. So if you got a mother out there, you need to tell her I love you while you can, while she can hear you. You need to give her your, give her flowers right now. I can hear my mother saying right now, don't buy me no clothes. Because every time Mother's Day would roll around, like, what you want for Mother's Day? She'd be like, ah, don't buy me no clothes. She would always say that, y'all. She would always say, don't buy her no clothes. And we would always buy her clothes because when, because when it was time to go somewhere, she would say, I don't have anything to wear. She would always say that. So every year she would get clothes, she would get clothes, earrings that she always lost. For some reason, she always lost her earrings and she never went anywhere for real. Not for real, not a lot of places, but she would always lose her earrings and she would always say, don't buy me clothes. And then it was time to go somewhere. I don't got nothing to wear. So she would always get clothes. But anyway, I love you guys for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 56 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. If you missed any episodes of the show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to the show there. Also, um, connect with me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Connect with me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And connect with me on the Twitter at GM Gwinnett, the number one. I just put up a digital coloring book I did. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, check it out. Go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. It's a digital coloring book. So if you, it's, a, it's a coloring journal is what it is. I created it. Um, I was just sitting here just wanting to do something yesterday. And, um, I was like, you know, I'm going to, I like journals. Like I have so many journals and a lot of them are filled up and I need a new one. So I created one. So I was like, oh, and I can make it a coloring book. So it's a coloring journal. So go to goodmorninggwinnett.com. You can download it instantly. It's only $10, you know? So if you like journals and you like coloring, I put them all together. It's a coloring journal. Pretty darn cool. But that's all I got for you. I'll be back again on Monday at 10 a.m. Listen, y'all stay safe out there. Enjoy your Mother's Day. And listen, if you are around Gwinnett County, if you see me on the streets this Saturday or Sunday, pop, stop, walk up to me and say, hey, Audrey, and let me know that you heard the show. I will be outside roaming around this weekend. It's going to rain a little bit tomorrow, but Saturday's supposed to be beautiful. Not too hot, not too cold, just absolutely beautiful. So hopefully I'll see you downtown Lawrenceville, or, or I may see you over at the Derby in Duluth. All right, y'all stay safe out there. Until next time, my friends, I'll be back again Monday at 10 o'clock, God willing. Until next time, until next time, make it a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.